Well, Alan, there's a lot of uncertainty for both employers and employees with some questions of how long businesses can last before workers find themselves unemployed. As of 3 p.m. in Michigan, bars, restaurants, coffee shops, gyms, movie theaters, spas, all ordered by Governor Whitmer to stop normal business to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Hopefully we'll be able to avoid people getting sick, and if we can't completely avoid people getting sick, at least we can, you know, spread this out so that people aren't all inundating the healthcare system at the exact same time. That may be the best we can hope for. Meanwhile, the service industry bracing for the worst. Right now, I, I got to imagine that most people in my position are wondering the same thing. How are we going to pay a staff that counts on a paycheck every week? We're experiencing a paradigm shift. The, the world that we usually occupy is not necessarily safe to occupy in the same way for now. Anthology barista Sam Schaefer says whether he and his co-workers work or not, they'll still get paid at least through the next pay period and the effort to stop the spread has brought people closer together. It's unified people. A week ago, the discussion was, is the International Coffee Expo happening in Portland anymore? Three days ago, it's, is my cafe safe anymore? Today and the day before, it's, what are food and hospitality people going to do if we are in an environment where we can't provide the goods and services in the same way to make the living that we're going to make? And I think it's brought people all together, the fact that we all need the same things, we're all the same person. Now this order does allow doors to stay open for people to come in and pick up carry out, but that is limited to five people inside at a time, and they are being asked to maintain that six feet of social separation. And there are some consequences. Liquor licenses are on the line, as well as misdemeanor offenses for business owners that do not comply. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. It's a whole new reality. All right, thanks, Brian. There